Hello everybody, how's it going? Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1977D Lincoln Penny. And we're going to be going over everything you want to know about it, from the really brief history to the dye varieties that are going to be found on a very select few of them that are essentially an abnormality that makes them worth a fair amount more. Also going to be covering some of the mint errors from that year, but there's a bunch to get into. Let's go right to the presentation and start it out, and, you know, again, give you all the info you'd want to know. And here we've got our 1977D Lincoln Memorial scent. So I'm not going to spend too much time on the general information outside of while you can't melt it down for legal reasons, most of these at current prices, 1981 and back and a few from 1982, are going to be worth more than a cent because of their copper value. Um, the key dates and varieties listed below, you can pause if you'd like. But um, the real point at which it's worth certifying in 1977D is going to be uh, I would say strong mint state 66 or 66 plus and really then in bulk. Um, normally, it, you really need to actually have, you know, higher conditions, but seems like, uh, you know, you can get 40 bucks. Well, if you can sort of get this submission cost down to about 10 a coin or so, um, they're not the most liquid items, like not a ton of people are purchasing high grade 1977D Lincoln cents. But it certainly could be good if you could get a 67 plus or 68. There's not too many of those. Probably going to require some monster toning or just, you know, an unbelievable strike um, as there were over 4 billion made. But the main um, dye variety to look for is going to be this repunched mint mark. Uh, you can see the dye, you know, the, the north punch slightly protruding um, from the top of the D mint mark. Uh, so probably the first one did not take. They had to, you know, go for a second punching. It's not super uh, seeable or or really, really dramatic. So it's only going to be worth probably about 5 bucks in AU50, 10 bucks in Mint State 63, $20 for Mint State 65 example. But still, you know, that since it's pretty rare, people will probably like having one in their collection. Now, there's also um, a few Mint errors. There's two of them that I wanted to show. So this one's really cool. There's three clips on it, and it's a, a off-center strike. So... Um, it wasn't, you know, clearly was messed up on a lot of levels, but the three clips, uh, you know, th this occur when the blank strip of metal, sheet of metal is getting punched. And, uh, you know, clearly they, it punched where the, or a scrap of metal that was not properly formed and clipped on multiple sides got put into the striking chamber. And the was, you know, hit with the dies, but it was also off center. So um, maybe that's easier to occur when there's a bunch of clips and it's not easy to sort of form a circular shape that's just going to go right between the dies. Um, so this one sold for 150 bucks at a heritage auction sale. Uh, then we have a 40% straight clip. That's probably most likely on the edge. You know, it's a too narrow of a uh, strip of metal being used, but it also could have been on the either the start or the finish being part of a strip that was having the planches punched out and then also the broad strike you can tell you know sort of that metal flow going outwards meaning that uh, it wasn't properly in the retaining collars as it got struck this also sold for 150 bucks so just a cool few mint errors there really this is the one repunchment mark so just want to let you know that this is something you should be looking for and uh, we'll see you on some similar videos often there's a lot more repunchment marks or you know some very double dyes or other varieties um, to look for so i'll see you over there thanks for watching the video i'd encourage you to like the video comment and make sure to subscribe to my channel and i also have facebook instagram twitter and some other social media platforms you can also go to my main channel website treasuretownyt.com to learn more about the channel and sort of stay in contact i also will eventually host all of these videos on coinsmetalscards.com which will be both news, marketplace, and coin information. I do have the goal of eventually getting pretty much every U.S. coin, date, mint mark denomination on the channel with a similar video to the one that you just watched, and that will likely all be hosted there. Uh, and then I also have treasuretowncoins.com, which is sort of my coin dealing wing, coin dealing only entity that is a little bit less focused on content production. So thank you so much, and I'll look forward to seeing you on some of my other videos. I also have videos that are not just the date uh, mint mark denomination recap in this format, uh, so you can check some of those out, and I'll, yeah, have fun seeing you there.